I'm Sir Tap Tap, and this is Graceful Explosion Machine for Switch. I got a review copy of this game like, <laughs> like two years ago, um, and I I played it, and I never really did a video. We're gonna, you know what? We're just gonna pop right in and check it out. Man, that's I actually haven't played this in a while. <laughs> Tap for burst fire. All right, which button is which? Oh, there, here we go. This is a. Defender-ish kind of game. Um, it's kind of got that scroll, um, not infinite scroll, but kind of loop around scroll. Oh. And um, switching around kind of uh, gameplay thing. And um, it's pretty good. I I got through all of the the main um, planets. Ugh. I'm gonna play a little bit bad, but I I know the basics kind of. What's that? Oh, oh, the laser is so cool. Um, each enemy, kind of, you want to use certain weapons for certain things. Alright, the big boy laser uses um, fancy boy power. <laughs> I don't remember what anything is called, so you're just going to get names like that, unfortunately. Oh, isn't there... Do I not? I think you can just always use this thing. Uh, the machine gun overheats, the other things all use the power meter at the bottom. So that's how it works. <laughs> I'm supposed to remember how this works, but... Um, I figured I knew just enough to not need to ow. Replay the tutorial. You can take a few hits in this. Uh, see the little meter at the uh, bottom left there? I, I like the little emojis that it gives you. It's like, hey, you're doing a good job. Or like, oh, you got hit. Oh, the, the, the stage kind of changes as it goes around. So, um, you can see there's a Defender-style map at the, uh, top. Ech. Speaking of Defender, did we ever do a Let's Play of, um... Crap, what's that really good Defender game on, uh, PS4? Um... With the voxels? Oh god, it's right on the tip of my tongue. What was that game called? I don't think I've ever done a video of it for YouTube. It was fantastic, but, um... Just, just because I like a game doesn't necessarily mean I do a video on it. I, I probably should, but, um... Oh man, what's that game called? Uh, I'm sure I, um... Uh, oh, all oh, right, the missiles! Oh man, I love the missiles! What am I doing not using the missiles? My, my usual go-to, unless, um... Unless I have something else I need to use, um... As I like to spam the missiles. But yeah, I really like the um, the aesthetics of this game too. Very, um, I'm a sucker for kind of flat design, angular, lots of bright colors. So you know, I'm biased, but uh, I like it a lot. So the game, um, it's pretty score focused. You don't, I mean, you can just clear levels and consider yourself done. But there are um, letter ranks and stuff, which I'm not a score chasing kind of guy. But if there's letter ranks. I'm usually 10 times more into it because, all right, I have 24,000 points. What's, is that, is that good? I, I have no idea. Um, uh, but if you give me like a, a letter ranking, I'm like, oh, I got an A rank. That's, that's cool. Um, and so I'll, I can go for, you know, if you give me a really good game that has rankings, I'll tr probably try to like max out the ranks. Um, if it's just like a leaderboards thing, well, I mean, there's people that are going to like, you know, this is going to be speedrunners, score runners, um, whatever the equivalent is for shoot 'em up, you know, high score chasers. Um, I'm not going to be able to get number one on that leaderboard, but, um, you know, give me a, a score ranking. And, um, see, there's the rank. Um, that's a lot more interesting. I also really like the little graphic of how much you used each power. I did not use the sword at all. Um, but I really like the missiles. Um... Oh, it counts your stupid stats like your flips missiles fired. I love stupid little stats like that. More games need to have dumb stats. Um, it has little highlight reels. I guess it's just a screenshot, but uh, still cool. Also, your multiplier keeps going up, so it's one of those games where you kind of want to you chain your kills so you don't um, you don't drop it. Oh hey, I got a new high score too, and it shows you how far you are from the score 
the uh, next rank. I'm not, I'm not an S rank chaser in this game, as you can kind of see. But, um... You know what? Um, let me show you... Okay, not, not the hard one. The game's pretty open-ended. doesn't really have, like, a story and stuff. You just kind of go around, you do things. Um, ah! I, I don't... You know what's... I, I never... I, I should do this, but, uh... I don't usually research this stuff before I play. Like I have, I have the Switch version. I'm like, I, I don't know what other platforms this is on, um, if any. I, I don't know, but um, I should have looked that up. You know what? I'm, I'm not gonna be a naughty boy today. Uh, I'm gonna see what versions, well, what platforms is it on? Uh, it's on Steam. Um, it's on Steam and Switch. I don't know if it's anywhere else. Yes, it is on, it's on PS4. Okay, so it's on Steam, PS4, Switch, so... If you've got something that plays games, you can probably play it. I just, I love doing that. So the, um, these, the, every, uh, the two last levels of everything, of every, uh, world, are these, like... I forget what the- ow! Brilliant. <laughs> um, these kind of, like, gauntlet levels. Where you've got to, um, you're like filling this like weird room by defeating enemies. And they're just extra long, extra difficult levels, but uh, they're really fun. I, I They're probably my favorite part of the game. They're tricky, but um, they're enjoyable. The, the hazards also change particularly much um, with the little phase match change things. You can kind of see your progress over here. I think... I think just hitting enemies replenishes your um, combo meter, by the way. Let me check. I think as long as you're hitting something, um, it at least won't decay. I'm not necessarily the best at keeping my combo. Ow! But um, if you want to score high, that's your... That, that's basically it. The, the first thing you're going to want to do it, is not die, of course. Um, second thing really is um, wanting to not drop out with a combo. And taking one hit, um, I think it does. Oh god, I saw that coming. <laughs> um, and you are invincible if you do this, by the way. Ow. Oh, you're not invincible for that, I guess. You go through enemies at least. I've never, tr maybe I've never tried that. Well, I, I probably did and I just forgot. Like I said, I haven't played this for like two years. If you couldn't tell. All right, let's, let's be, let's be serious about this. Video games are very serious business. Oh, <laughs> a little shit emoji, thanks. Like I, said, I like the little, I love UI flourishes and stuff like that. This game has a lot of ow. This game has a lot of ow. It really does, but the um, game has a lot of flashy stuff. I guess that's kind of in the title, isn't it? Graceful Explosion Machine. It's not a, you know, boring explosion machine. It's not a plain explosion machine. No, it's graceful. It's got a lot of fanciness to it. I don't remember which all weapons, unfortunately, go for which things. I do remember Al. Wait, why did I say Al? I was just expecting to make a mistake. My, my brain was like, you, you've, you've really screwed up this time. I probably just saw the laser and just assumed. Um, use this thing. Some enemies are really good to hit with this. Ow. Stop that. Big boy laser feels really cool to use. Burns out your energy real fast, though. But uh, obviously, when you're playing this game for the first time, um, well, you you have to complete the level. You have to complete the uh, the worlds to um, to unlock these stages. You don't really start right in on these. This is probably ow. Maybe you're not invincible when you dash. Maybe I'm misremembering that. I am probably thinking of many many other games that do that, but not this game. Oh, right. What's the count? How many times they say ow in this video? Don't do that. Um. So if I'm being honest, I don't remember. I don't remember how the life bar works. If 
Oh, right. And the gauntlets, you just don't have- the, the, you just don't have lives, I'm not sure. Oh, it's the warp, it's not- that's what it's called. Um, let's just take a peek at a later level. Not a gauntlet, though. They took too long, I'm doing too badly. If you lose a life, you go back to the start of the phase, usually, I believe. I probably should have practiced before checking this game out, but hey. What else? We're good. I also- ow. I appreciate the, um, the different aesthetics of the different planets. I'm good at video games, guys, I promise. But hey, I've, I've wanted to, to clear. I've got a bunch of games in my backlog, like, not just personal backlog, but, um, like, there's a bunch of games that I'm like, alright, these are really cool, I want to do videos on them and stuff, and I want to check them out for YouTube, and didn't, didn't get to all of them. So uh, what I wanted to do is go back and play a lot of them, and I just played, uh... I just played Two Finger Death Punch, or One, <laughs> one Finger Death Punch 2. Um, and, um... And I noticed that I had this on my Switch still, and I was like, you know what? I never did a video of that. I'm, I'm gonna do a video of that right the heck now. Alright, so so when, when they turn, um, when they turn turquoise, those ones are being shielded. Yeah, I'm, I don't know why I'm misusing the sword. The sword is actually quite good. Usually, if you're using the sword, um, most enemies will not be able to hit you, as long as you don't, like, run out of power. Also, the little yellow bits they do, they drop, drop a little bit of power, which gives you good, kind of, tempo. Maybe... Maybe I'm too babby. This difficulty. Let's go. Let's go to this world. Oh, I love the meat zone. I'm a big sucker for meat zones. Any any game where you're like inside like a big ow, a big thing, and there's like little meat bits on the walls and crap, um, like Jabu Jabu's belly and that kind of stuff, and just like, oh, just it's so dramatic and neat, like that kind of stuff. The meat zone. Doom, Doom had a lot of meat zones. You know, I was a little bit... I was a little bit disappointed there's no meat zone in Doom 2016. Um, great game, though. Great... Uh, you don't need me to tell you Doom 2016 is great. Um, but I did finally play it this year. Speaking of being behind on video games forever. But yes, I just finally played it this year. I loved it. Um, I'm really glad that they kept going with like the lore and stuff, and it felt like... Honestly, it felt like a remake of Doom two th of Doom three. Um, I don't mean that in a negative way. Um, it felt like Doom three done right, really. It felt like they learned a lot from that, and they wanted to, you know, continue that kind of, um, you know, having a story up with it, and exploring Mars and having it a bit more grounded, but uh, keep the action way more punchy, and uh, they really did it. But uh, I forgot why I started talking about Doom. Oh yeah, no, but Doom, Doom has the ow, the meat zone, and um, Doom 2016. It was more like, you know, it was floaty rocks, kind of marble castley hell, which was in the original Doom too. But um, I don't know. I like me some surreal meat castle. Oh yeah, and the um, inside the juggernaut in. Um, Legend of Lagaya, that's like the definition of meat zone to me. Um, great final dungeon. <laughs> Am I gonna be able to beat a level? Let's see. Here, here's how the live system works. All right, <laughs> I just want to beat one level so you see that you know. But I'm good at video games, and then, oh, by the way, the, um, the missiles shoot kind of in the direction you're moving. Use this thing more, tap tap, jeez. Uh, it erases bullets through the sword. Uh, I should really be using it a lot more than I am. I'm not not using it because it's bad, I'm just not thinking to use it. See, so again, the, the, the shield dudes that shoot the bullets, obviously anything that shoots bullets, the sword is pretty good at. You do get some tense moments like that where it's like, oh. Oh, I'm out of bullet. I'm out of gun bullet. And that... 
that's never super fun, but, uh... It does have a definite layer of uh, resource management with the shots. That's why I kind of try to just alternate between using just the machine gun and um, using a weapon. Because usually you won't run out of both if you do that, unless you're in a really bad spot. Which obviously, of course, happens to me all the time. Though when it's the missiles, I, I, can't, <laughs> I can't resist. It's way too fun to just fire all of the missiles, even though it's... Bleh. I don't, I don't appreciate the lasers. Why is there even a laser? We're in the meat zone! Wh what is the laser doing in here? Get it out of here. Put it back in the ruins zone or the space tech zone. But in the meat zone, we do things differently. We have standards in the meat zone, okay? Jeez. The clap emoji. The left the or in the right. Dorime. I like the little trail by the way, that's neat. Like I said, just, just cool flashy game. Oh these guys. Um lasers or er, sword is very good for that. I think it automa yeah. Because it goes around multiple times, so you pretty much always clear the bullet as you defeat him. This game, this game will definitely test your kiting skills. Um, you really gotta kite the enemies around to um, both to to you know not run out of um, stuff or get cornered, but also the um, uh, the multiplier system because you don't want to kill things too fast sometimes. Because if you kill everything in one area and there's still enemies somewhere else, um, you might have a problem. You might drop your combo. Which I would definitely recommend first time you play through the game. You just want to beat every level. You do not want to try and score chase too much. Um, after you've kind of familiarized yourself with the levels and have some faint degree of memory of how the levels kind of pan out, um, then you kind of go for score. Like I said, I really like the, um, the rank system. Because I, I, if it's just score, I have no idea wh when to stop playing. I, I don't have super infinite amounts of time to play games, so I very much appreciate when it's like, alright, I have had my fill of this game, and I will move on. Because I, I gotta move on. That's why that's that's part of why roguelikes aren't really for me. I mean, there's usually some degree of ending to them, but it's also usually very, very deep, and you might never get good enough to get to that ending. Depending on how the... Um, how tough it is, which is usually very. I can't believe I got a new high score playing this badly. And this, you know, I guess I just did extra bad when I first went in. Alright, online scores too. As as you would probably expect. Let's let's take a look at the leaderboards. How much better than I I did thirty thousand. No, oh, was it three hundred thousand or thirty thousand? I did 30,000, and the leaders... Hold on, am I reading this right? And the leaderboards have 800,000! Okay, so that's keeping the multiplier up, obviously. Wow. That's that's pretty intense. Okay, so how far down I, am I? Goomba. I'm, <laughs> I'm 3,604th, guys. Heck yeah. Take that, Great Oz and Octo Man. <laughs> Get wrecked. Alright. That is Graceful Explosion Machine. Um, this challenge modes. What is. Alright, it's like a harder version of the warp mode. And then there's a score attack thing. Uh, oh, options. Control. Okay. V very basic options. Um, okay, yeah, it's just a little tutorial. Um, but yeah, that is Graceful Explosion Machine. It's out on Steam, PS4, and um, Switch, obviously, which is, that's what I'm playing on. Made by Vertex Pop, and uh, it's pretty cool. I, I, <coughs> excuse me. Frickin', I, I blame Parker allergies. I don't think I'm like sick sick, it's just Parker allergies. Um, but yeah, cool game. I wish I got to it earlier. 
In fact, I'm gonna have to email. I'm, when did I get emailed about this? Time to embarrass myself in front of. However many people email me. Oh, Gra Grace. Full explosion machine. When? Huh. Oh, here we go. I got it in September 7th, 2017. Little, little behind, but hey, less than three years. I've, I've definitely missed things for more than three years. <laughs> But yes, um, well, let me know what you thought of the game in the comments. As always, make sure to like the video if you liked it, and uh, subscribe if you want to see more. I will see you next time with a totally new game. Alright gamers, remember to like, subscribe, and smash that bell. Frog, what are you doing in my house? I, I, I would just get out.